Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this is the Reximex Acura on the table. Now this is basically a bigger version of the Reximex Myth. It's just got a bit of a beefed up stock, pretty much bigger, big bottle at the front rather than uh, the air tube. And then obviously there's no bottle at the back, but a longer barrel. So kind of like the big brother of the Myth, I think. But let's throw out some specs and we'll dig deep into this review then. So this one is in 177, PCP obviously, side lever cocking. Uh, calibers available are 22 and 25 and 177. Magazine capacity, and they do take these uh, cassette style magazines that we're all familiar with. 177, you'll get 14 shots in a magazine 2-2 two, two, there'll be 12 25 there'll be 10 shots fill pressure is 250 bar barrel length is 480 millimeters or 18.89 inches overall length is 1110 millimeters or 43.7 inches the stock is Reximex's high quality synthetic stock you've got a manual safety catch the muzzle is threaded to half inch UNF. Trigger is adjustable and weighing in at three and a half kilos. That's about it for your specs. This, by the way, is wearing a Hawk Endurance scope with some sports match mounts. So nice combination. Well, let's take it from the top and we'll sort of show you what this Acura from Reximex is all about. So, fully synthetic stock, ambidextrous, thumb hole, I guess you call that a thumb hole, it is a thumb hole. Sling swivel stud there. You have got, it's kind of a weird sort of setup here, so there's no sort of rubber recoil pad there, which is a little bit odd, I think. It's almost like, it's almost like there's something missing. Maybe there is something missing on this rifle. It seems, I'm just looking on their, on their website. Uh, let me just, I'm just clicking through it. I don't know whether there should be like a, a book pad on there. It seems to be missing on this one anyway, unless it's fell off here in the rat cave, but this one has not got one. There's not one in the box, or there might be, you never know when I'll show you the box. Um, but yeah, interesting stock. You sling swivel point there, like I said, and there if you want to use that. Ambidextrous, which is what I kind of like being a lefty. Side lever cocking, pistol grip there. You've got like a stippling on the pistol grip. Same with on the fore end there. There is your manometer sort of tucked away there and there's your fill area there. It's kind of nice. Another sling swivel stud here. Kind of nice. I kind of like it. It's minimalistic, but it looks kind of cool. You've got a nice long barrel, which is really nice. You can adjust the power here by adjusting this thing. So that'll adjust your um, velocity. I just left this at factory. This is a sub 12 one. So I just left it at factory settings. So I've not really messed about with it. I was getting good accuracy with it, uh, but I've misplaced the targets, but it was pretty accurate. I was, I, to be fair, I was doing a lot of tin can bashing. I was just slaughtering tin cans. I did do a bit of accuracy testing. It, it weren't bad. And then I was just cutting cans in half. Cross bolt safety. I, I like cross bolt safeties, but it's a bit weird where that one is. Um, but it works. It's, that's the main thing. As long as it works, it does the job. Picatinny rail, well, I say it's a Picatinny rail and a dovetail rail in one. So it's one of those combination ones, which I kind of like. So it doesn't really matter what mounts you've got, they're gonna fit on there pretty much. So not bad, not bad at all. I like the way they've sort of capped off the end of the bottle there, just to make it look a bit bit more sort of, well, they haven't capped it off, but they sort of put this thing on to sort of keep it all nice and tight with the barrel. I know it, it should be, I guess, a free floating barrel, but sub 12, you know, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Not a bad, not a bad rifle. 
like I say, it's pretty much like the myth, I think. It's just the myth's big brother. But I kind of like it, kind of like it. Now, I did have a few little gripes, like I've had, and I'm going to say it with all of the Reximex rifles that I have tried and tested. I just found them a little bit... Um, the magazines, when you, when you put the magazine in, the first couple of shots, well, as you load it, there's a lot of resistance and it feels like you're doing those pellets a lot of damage as you're chambering them. It just, I don't know, it just didn't feel altogether right. So I noticed the first couple of shots, it was almost like it took a couple of shots for the magazine to get properly sort of in line, if that makes sense. I don't know, it, it, was, it was strange, really strange. And I noticed that in, in the Acura, I noticed it in the Myth, and I also noticed it in the Ixia. So I don't know whether the mags, I don't know, I don't know whether there might be a slight problem with the mags. Maybe not, might, might just be me loading them, but I loaded them as per the manual says, you know, and we're, we're all used to these clockwork magazines by now. Yeah, even me. So yeah, it's, it's a weird one. Maybe they'll settle down after a bit. Maybe they just need, I don't know, tensioning up, something. I don't know, it was just weird. It was weird. But on some occasions, I did feel quite a lot of resistance. I mean, resistance as in I was, I didn't really want to force it. You know, I was worried about maybe bending the probe. So, yeah, it is what it is. But these rifles did all right. Did all right. That was just my. That was just probably my my only little niggle and a little bit worrying. But is it the pellets? You know, maybe different. I did use a few different flavor of the H and N pellets. Maybe they don't really like the H and N pellets. Who knows? Maybe you switch switch pellets, different make. That might be silky smooth. But that's the only thing I found anyway. But no, not a bad little rifle. I say little, it's pretty big. Right, my only gripe with most of the Reximexes is the horrible boxes that you get. The, the um, synthetic boxes that you get. But this one is a breath of fresh air because it comes in a cardboard box, which is way better than those horrible, horrible plastic boxes, polymer boxes that you get. I'd sooner have a cardboard box, better for the environment, because let's face it, the boxes that the air rifles come in, the plastic ones, you don't really use, do you? All right, the FX ones are pretty good. But anyway, what's in the box? Oh, get, look, look what's in the box, guys. Look what I forgot to put on, okay? So yeah, my bad, my bad. You do get a book pad with it. There you go. Okay, my bad that. <sighs> Enough said, eh? Enough said. So what do you get in the bag, in the box? You get a butt pad. You get all your bits and pieces, like your, your fittings there. You get two magazines, a few different seals. You get uh, some data from the factory of how it did. I'm gonna put that on in a minute, guys, don't worry. The manual, you get some targets as well. The manual on the Reximexes are pretty good. Exploded diagrams is what, what I like. All your do's and don'ts, good pictures. You know, pretty nice, pretty nice. My God. Rack, look in the goddamn box before you do your review. I know, I know. Tell me in the comments, tell me in the comments. Well, that's the box, let's get rid of the box across the rat cave. Right, should we put this on? We'll put this on and then I'll revert to the start of the video. How does that go on? Right. So going from the stock end, you get a nice recoil pad, butt pad, hard rubber, with like a honeycomb texture going on. Really like that. And it is adjustable as well by pressing this button, he says. Oh, please be adjustable, please. Oh, come on, I'm having a bad enough day doing this video. It is adjustable. It's just a bit, 
bit stiff. Well, anyway, it goes up and down anyway, when you're not trying to sort of hold the gun in front of the camera. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. That is Rack and Load. That is your review of the Reximex Acura. Thanks for watching. See ya.